like, fuck. May those useless memories burn away. Remember only the one who has served you his entire life. There are a couple days where I felt like I was almost out of ten with fucking after I, like I my to my had a rotten tooth. Oh, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking like dental felt like will a fuck ten. you up real bad. I, that shit felt bad. Like there was some days where it just was like that. Ooh, but I could function, so I would probably say it's probably like a, like a seven or an eight. Yeah. As her tears finally stopped, the stains on her cheeks drying along with her skin, Sarah turned into Diana's eyes, burning his gaze onto them. Now, do you remember the human? Mr. Fuck. No, it couldn't be. Burn on her chest flashed a bright white orb before settling down, revealing the permanence of dad over her skin. It was a real scar on her flesh, no longer a figment of magic. Swiftly, lovingly at Diana before <coughs> guiding her head towards... And leaning in to kiss her between the bars. Jail. Diana closed yeah. her eyes and, and practically moaned against his lips. Most likely feeling some sort of energy from it. Well, uh, yeah, probably. Because like, he's like, he clearly has... loves her, but also is like a psycho. Yeah. She's that desperate for energy now? That's, she's, that's how she just functions. So, yes. <laughs> Zero ran his fingers over Diana's cheeks, causing Diana to shudder at the touch and let out a pleasured sigh. Jeez. Now rest. Grr, jam. Nothing will harm you in here. Diana nodded before slowly lying on the side, letting her body slowly shift to slumber. With another chuckle, Sayer <laughs> That human's life for a stone destiny. A perfect trait, if I do say so myself. I snarled and rushed him. <laughs> but wound up running into his body and falling to the floor. Sarah walked back towards the open door and stood by it to look back at Diana with an almost evil looking smile. <laughs> almost evil, this demon. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> evil. <laughs> I jumped up and ran at him, but as he stepped through the closed door, I found myself shooting up to the bed and stood up. What's wrong? Looked over to see Diana sitting in the same spot as she was when I fell asleep and staring at me with wide concerned eyes. There was a mark on her chest and no crosses in her eyes, which made me feel somewhat relieved. There was no mark. Oh, Not the mark. Like the mark was still there, like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Bob Ann. No, that's good. I looked around, trying to see if Sarah was in the room, but he was nowhere to be found. Are you alright? Hell no. Let's yeah, tell, I'm gonna tell her about tell that. her about my wicked visions. not be visions. like every fucking story ever where you have a like prophetic dream and you just don't tell people. I had to tell her about the dream. I turned to her and took her hands, making Diana gasp and share and st yes, stare, stare at, me, at, at me in even more confusion, confused and shock. Thank you. I kind of like ruined my voice doing this again yesterday. I don't know, like I talk all day for a living, so like I fucking yeah. like I have to read like this like three page script sometimes, and it's just like I feel like I need water so bad by the end of that. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the area locked you into some sort of jail and wiped your memories of me, and I couldn't do wait, anything. Wait, wait, and... stop! What? Yeah, I took one of her hands from mine and placed it on my head. Did she seriously not believe me? I glared as she stared at her hand. It's true. I believe you, but I want to see it for myself. Or she could go into your dreams because she's a succubus and that's uh, a thing. Okay. That's probably a thing. Deals with that her, now realizing that she, she was taking energy from me from my forehead, Diana closed her eyes and remained silent for a moment. How would she react? She pulled her hand away. She it smiled at me. It was a nightmare, me. dear. I'm sorry you had it. But I can assure you, no magic like what you saw exists, nor would Sarah ever do that to me. Yeah, he probably would, though. Oh, he's totally it. about to do that, yeah. Scared. What could the general feel, genuine feeling be behind her words? But something in my gut wouldn't let this go. How could we, she be so sure, that, so sure that magic like that didn't... Because she's playing you, too. She's a succubus, for God's sakes. You're a human. Yeah, right? Good she's, lord. You're a pet, basically. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're basically your pet. I don't get it. Like, he, of course she's probably lying about what if Sarah things. was a terrible person oh I didn't what if this man who ended up in hell Sarah, is a terrible guy, person this guy who's in a, de a blood war with another demon tribe is like fucking bad oh well, maybe Sarah if... has been with me ever since I was a child I would know if he was a bad person no you wouldn't 
from the, the door I thought from the first open, cousin Diana and I had to separate. The beginning of this, said that you were trying to like bring all the, the 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 incubus boys back to the the hell or something, right? Yeah, so you were. She was being bad earlier. Yep. So what the fuck? <laughs> it was a what changed? Who seemed to be a runner for the army. I judging well, I guess I didn't even do that. Re like go through that whole story. So I have no idea. <laughs> and it was right. The demon lord was going to show up today. I looked to the far window to see the sun barely up over the oddly colored purple sky. It was morning, as Diana expected. Diana quickly threw her legs over the side of the bed and stood, pointing to the guard. Tell every able-bodied soldier to head for the gates. I will be there shortly. Yes, your highness. She's gonna fucking die. I just, I just feel like she's just gonna end up dead because it's like the like the relationship's already like kind of happening. Yeah. It feels weird that like she's gonna probably die. Could be. Just if they force you into like a fucking like yeah, build a relationship now. Some other, some fucking person. Yeah. <laughs> Little soldiers that either accompanied him or were heading in the same direction. Look, Diana, surprised to see her ready. How much energy did she take during the night? As if I got a good look at her, something about her seemed to have changed, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Thank you. For what? Sorry for flooding. Yeah, turned to look at me with a smile. As she did, I could see a faint layer of purple energy surrounding her form, and her eyes glowing completely gold. You gave me a large amount of energy last night. You gave me a big dick last night. <laughs> you were asleep, but you nutted a lot. And I took all of it. I turned that I turned that shit into power. Roy <laughs> second through the room. Making me internally shut. Yeah, it's called the cum generator. Get with the times. <laughs> it's the tandem engine. <laughs> Feel the power of the tandem engine. <laughs> if you nut in it, it makes them even stronger. Man, if someone jizzed fighting Seth, they'd lose instantly. <laughs> it would just be like, KO! <laughs> just like right away. Yeah, ha ha, you saw me and you Let me press cool. the jack off button. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Capcom, Capcom just adds a button to all the fighting games where they just like you it just, just instantly you depletes elect, all your health. Yeah, you can elect to just stop trying, and then basically Ryu just turns around and puts a magazine out. It's like <laughs> it's like from the back, and you can see him just doing that. <laughs> and normally and, it does nothing. What it increases meter or something? Yeah, yeah, it can do something. But if you do it too long, it just fucking like KOs you. But if you fight, start doing it when you do like with Seth. <laughs> You just it just like instantly depletes your health because your jizz goes into the sand. <laughs> that is so fucking dumb. That'd be great. They just add a jerk off button. Maybe on like fucking game, like like fucking uh, uh, IGN and just be like, like I can't believe they took a risk by adding a jerk off button to Street Fighter, like Super Street Fighter Six. <laughs> so. Epic moment happening. Yeah. <laughs> he's shattered. about to go fight a whole fucking army after like fucking like the drinking power your behind her voice almost drowned my whatever. It was as if she were no longer a simple mortal, but a goddess. How much energy did she consume last night? How much cum did you drink? <laughs> How <laughs> much that... cum did you drink last night? I drank too. This much. <laughs> this much. <laughs> How much bubble tape cum can you handle? <laughs> there's a fucking there's a page on Facebook where they just like. Like, they just take all kinds of shit and just make it look like it's covered in fucking jizz. And it's called, like, it was, like, called composting nut nut busting or something weird. It's, like, some shit and shit like that. It's, like, a really fucking stupid, silly name. And every single post makes me laugh. Like, every <laughs> single post. So stupid. Gently took my hand and rushed me out of the room, guiding me to the castle around us. Servants and soldiers rushed in one direction or another. I you there beside me when I face it. You won't be hurt, I promise. Followed step by step, I'm moving in on your position and destruction is my mission. I felt a bit honored that she wanted me with her, but I shook off the excitement, knowing that I was walking towards the demon lord. These people are frickin' demons! It's approaching. <laughs> I have, have sex and vats of feces. I have sex and vats of feces and give the cum to the tandem. I, I wish we named ourselves Alex Jones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, be, God, that would be great. That fucking good. This uh, was the Alex good. Jones dating sim and... <laughs> Oh, going that's to probably head, a going thing straight too. To, going it probably straight is to, an Alex yeah, Jones yeah, dating Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. Bren Pie is pretty easy to just make whatever. Yeah, it's just like I can shit one of those out in a day. Yep. <laughs> 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 I got led me to the castle grounds and to the battlements overseeing the distance beyond the kingdom. Where a large line of creatures lined up and outlined the horizon. I felt my heart stop as the tallest figure stood between them and us. 
taller than any man I had ever witnessed, and it was a man I was meeting for the first time, the Demon Lord. Yeah, this, this, a, the person that wrote this is actually pretty good. Yeah. I, this is, like, fucking weird. Because, like... This one's <laughs> worth the $15. Yeah, maybe. I think I think you should probably... Like, if you like this shit, you should probably buy it. This is actually fine. I, I would actually... Like, I probably get bored of this. Like, yeah. if I was playing it by myself. But I definitely would play more of this than anything else. Yes. I feel like if this was a movie... Yeah, if this had, if this had cutscenes... I think the voice acting helps, though. You will fall before the sun reaches its peak. Yeah, this is getting worse and worse. Oh. Release my hand as I step between the embrasures of the wall and walk through through the air towards the ground like she was descending an invisible staircase. As she did, I jumped at the sound of the soldiers on the ground, pointing their weapons towards the incoming army. I'm gonna cast a big cool spell. <laughs> Voice bellowed through the air, causing a line of creatures to step back in fear. As our feet touched the ground, the air seemed to pulse with energy. However, the demon lord stepped forward with a dark grin. Alright, so they're just about to like fucking clash swords right now. You have failed to bring my sons home, it seems. Oh god! So okay, so those 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 uh dudes from the first game. Her job is to go get them, but she's like, fuck it, I fell in love with whoever this is. I'm gonna go back and just... Fuck it, I don't wanna. That guy forced her to. Okay, so he's just gonna fight him. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, I don't know Latin too well, but posterius is like the back end of something. Uh, I'm sure we could like plug all that into something and like figure yeah. out what the fuck that means. And it's probably some. it could be something really stupid. And they knew that we'd never try, so they're just like, ha <laughs> They're like, put it in my ass, you stripper. <laughs> Pull it out my ass and make me scream pizza pie. <laughs> the laughed at whatever Diana had shot at. <laughs> Making me worry. Because he, he knows that's what she was actually saying. <laughs> yeah. She'd be okay on her own. She stepped towards a couple of feet before pointing her palms towards the ground and... Iron Manning away. Oh yeah. <laughs> just, just an Avengers style like style battle. Or my wings. wings. Boo, 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 boo. On your just, left. Sarah just looks at you and is just like <laughs> <laughs> Then you're like on your left. <laughs> <laughs> The parks of Dornigar's skin began to dance and weave before <laughs> detaching themselves from her body and forming two large demonic wings. They flapped against the air in unison, creating a large gust of wind to push Soldiers forward. Soldiers of Lilith, come to my side if you wish to shed my enemy's blood. Uh, I'm not really into that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, because like I come over, it's like, eh, I kind of join just because, like, you kind of suck all our dicks. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. Yeah. Oh, I now, did. now you're making me do all this stuff? I don't want to do stuff. As Diana spoke, the soldiers who had gathered at the front rushed what, you stood in who lines by at Diana's side, pointing their weapons at the demon lord and in his, in his army. In number, Diana and her soldiers were outmatched ten or twenty fold. However, something told me that the battle would be in Diana's favor. Probably the misplaced confidence. Yes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> at my sides, a large line of archers positioned themselves and aimed at the army, ready to fire on command. Steady, men! I looked at the side to see Sarah walking down the line with his hand raised, uh, waiting for the signal. However, the sight of him made me remember how he was in my nightmare. Could he be as evil as he was then? Uh, probably, yeah. He's gonna portray the shed, I guess. From then, a large, thick tendril with a gigantic mouth began to quickly sprout and spill from a magic circle floating above her chest. Fly the ground, her body, and down towards the ground. As I stared, I could recognize the shape of the mouth from when Diana first met me. But you first dangled me over it before letting me make a deal with her. Oh, what? I don't think she let you make a deal with her. I think it was like, yo, I'm going to kill you unless you agree to yeah. sign this contract. Soon the tendril released itself from Diana's body and took physical form with purple and black scales. A head formed where its teeth was, convulsing. It's like some bayonetta moment. shit. Yeah. This is dope. It's a wicked purple tongue lashed from its newly formed mouth. Man, all those other visual novel people need to play this game and then, like, understand that sometimes people want things to happen. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. things are happening, and I'm actually way more into this. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think this would happen. I guess this is what happens when anything happens in it. Yeah. In one of these. 
Yeah, this is this is pretty hype. Uh, hissed at the creatures in the front line and began to, sn to slither forward in hunger. I didn't get a chance to watch it attack. I turned back to Diana to see her lift up off the ground with a form of purple saber in her hand. Jesus Christ. And it's lifting it off. Crazy. Head. For what? the pride of Lilith, to battle! At her last world where Diana flew towards and slashed through the air, causing a large purple arc to shoot out of her saber and strike down a s section of the demon sword's front line. Demon Lord's front line. I watched <laughs> as both armies charge forward towards each other and began to clash swords. God damn. I gotta clean my glasses, I think. <sighs> Maybe a rain of arrows flew through him of the battle oh, uh, the battlements down toward the incoming section of the Demon Lord's army, causing me to duck in seat and uh, duck in case they returned fire. To my surprise and glee, the Demon Lord's army couldn't push Diana or her army back. They held their positions and cut down every enemy they can't that, that uh, every enemy that came at them. The Demon Lord watched instead of fighting, glare, fighting, glared as Diana flew through the air, cutting down sections of the army with ease. Jesus, man, it's just. A, I hope this doesn't get boring after this. Yeah, this is like the fucking end of a story, and this then. Diana's like, quick, we need to retreat from the battle and go to high school. Yeah, we gotta go to high school and pretend to be high schoolers. That fucking happened, I'd be like, nope, <laughs> turn it off. Fucking stop. The snake that Diana had summoned was dealing major damage to the enemy, as well as carving through the lines and devouring handfuls of them at the time. Each time it did, it got bigger and became much more menacing. could barely take it all in. The battle was merciless. Uh, seemingly endless. Diana's army was small, but it had strong morale, cutting through the Demon Lord's men with ease. The archers beside continue, beside me continued raining arrows on the incoming soldiers, hoping to nickel and dime their numbers for, for the ground troops. I was glad that Diana wanted me there, uh, but I knew that I wasn't ready to fight in a war, so I kept crouched to watch the battle safely. Eventually, Diana's army began to push back forcing the enemy soldiers to either retreat or try to regain ground. Diana, however, decided it was time to deal with the real threat and swoop towards the demon lord. Both demons urged their weapons at each other, Diana with her saber and the demon lord with the giant sword and clashed steel. As they did, purple flame and red lightning spasmed through from the impact and pressed against each other in a battle of strength. The demon lord looked so much bigger than Diana, but somehow Diana matched his strength, and it did not budge in the parry. Like, kill a kill over Yeah, here. right? It's dope as shit. How? You cannot <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna fucking die. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. That guy's fucking done. He yeah. just said that. He, he just that's, said, that's when you die. He just said, <laughs> what power? <laughs> when, you, when you, for in one minute, ever fucking admit this to the strength of the, like, the if hero you're ever or the main character, you're gonna die. Or, if you ever say... I Impossible. can't. I, or if you say you're invincible, you're gonna die. Oh yeah. Either one of those is when you die. Yeah. I think impossible is one of my impossible. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're done. Yeah. You're pretty much that's the end. Something in the battle like around the duel stopped from just the sheer sight of Diana matching the Demon Lord's power. I am the princess of Lilith. I will defy your will and save this world from your tyranny once and for all. Collective gasp echoed through the air as Diana somehow managed to push back against the Demon Lord, forcing him to step back in the parry. Diana was doing it, and she was defeating him. <laughs> Damn. The Demon Lord slid his sword from the parry and swung again at Diana, making her block, but failed to push her back. He repeated this attack twice, three times, but continued to be pushed back each time. The soldiers around them took, took in the morale inspiration and fought back tenfold. Forcing the Demon Lord's army back over the arching horizon. Diana and the Demon Lord, however, continued to clash swords, beating steel watch, to steel. Watch this fucking game be like, after all this, be all like, yo, you want to date the Demon Lord or Diana? Uh, <laughs> like, no, Diana. Like, <laughs> you fucking idiot. Yeah. Why would you give me a choice on anything? Yeah. <laughs> at all. As like, the Demon fuck. Lord finally jumped back, he formed a large ball <laughs> of red lightning in his it all up with that. Shooting it towards Diana like a flash of thunder. Grah! The, t the attack impacted, <laughs> sending Diana flying back. 
But with her wings, Diana managed to flip back to the face of the demon lord with ease. In retaliation, Diana formed a spiraling set of purple fireballs above her and chucked them at the demon lord. This is a, this is so anime. It's very, very anime. It's like it's also like a boss anime. fight yeah. in like a 90s game. Yeah, it is. Back when games had bosses. Yeah, was, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's still a thing, but it's, there still are bosses, but they're usually a like lot of games don't har- harkening back to things when they have them, or their the game just traditionally had them. Demon Lord slashed through each ball, forcing them to dissolve into the air. This is air. Diana glared hard in reply before flying at her opponent, slashing through the air with the saber. From there, it became a battle of blades and close-range magic attacks. Neither side would give in; no soldier dared to step in of being the victim of one of their attacks. The duel became blurred by the sheer speed passing between them, frantic and power at once. <laughs> then you wake up from your busy. dream and you're, you're in the ba- the cart from fucking Skyrim, but it's all text <laughs> and there's no like <laughs> graphics. You're finally awake. <laughs> it just says, <laughs> you're finally awake. We're going to high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, too Joe Schmoke, High like, school. <laughs> Skyrim belongs to the Nords Club. <laughs> the Nords Club. <laughs> <laughs> the two slid away from each other. Diana was intact, breathing heavily from exerting so much energy. The Demon Lord was weaponless. Adjusting my eyes, I could see that he was no longer carrying a weapon. He was gripping his arms tightly to stop the wound from bleeding out, oh, taking it deeper just happen? to throw it away. How? God damn. Diana didn't respond. She flew towards to engage him again, but stopped as the demon lord's body had it became overcome by red lightning. As the lightning had ended him, the demon lord's body vanished. I will return your kingdom. Okay, so he's not like dead. He's just gone for a little bit. Yeah, I don't think demon lords ever die, really. Yeah, probably not. His voice echoed through the air. Haunting everyone and make the trees around us bend and sway in its might. However, as the voice died out, his army, the demon lord left behind, vanished as well. It took a moment to take it in. We had won the battle. We had fought and drove the demon lord and his army out of the kingdom. We did it. Quickly, the soldiers of Diana's army cheered huzzas for their victory. Huzzah! 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 Excelsior! Diana's snake vanished... (laughs) At last, and Diana herself slowly began to fly back towards me. I was grinning ear to ear as she slid between the embrasures to me. However, I did not expect Diana's eyes to roll into the back of her head and for her to collapse against me. I wrapped my arms around Diana, and she indeed fainted in my arms. Mr. Fuck! Diana! What is a Zayr? What? I don't know who that is. As I collapsed on my knees with Diana in my arms, Zayr rushed and dropped to his knees beside us, uh, taking one of Diana's hands. Diana, however, didn't react to the, even as energy began to flow from Zayr to Diana's hands. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know his pick. Everyone's is this the time to make the moves? I mean, I think we're probably Welcome. already... Welcome. <laughs> make some moves. I think with this ding, character, ding, we're probably ding, already pe- like past like just kissing. So like whatever. Hey, did it hurt <laughs> when, when you, you fell to fell hell? To hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spit love into her. She needed <laughs> energy to recover, and I had to give her mouth to mouth for it. I gently took her head in my hands and kissed her, letting her unconsciously take my energy. I could feel warmth slowly coming back into Diana's skin as we kissed, making me slightly smile. Diana's free hand gently slid up between our bodies and cupped itself over the side of my neck. Diana was awake now. She was enjoying the kiss we were sharing, and I wasn't going to let go just yet. Oh, shit. They're like, there's, like, action happening in this, like... This early on, it would have been like two hours in a lot of those other ones. Yeah. Or even like somebody like accidentally hugged us or something. Yeah. Or like was like, hey, you want to go to my house? Oh my God, really? It's been three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel my nerves dance as energy slipped from me into Diana's lips. Before long, Diana disconnected that flow, pulling away slightly to look up at me. Diana slowly lifted herself up onto her feet. Instinctively, Sayero and, Bo- and I both grabbed onto Diana's arms, helping her up. She looked at both of us with a kind smile. Thank you. 
No problem, baby. So would she have died if you just hugged her and didn't like give her like a, like kiss energy or whatever? I have no idea. That's that's kind of interesting to think about. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I couldn't tell which one of us she was thanking, but I accepted it with a smile of my own. You did it, Diana. You drove him back. Yeah, I chuckled at bed before standing up the straight. Her wings that had been folded against her back splayed out behind her near us, causing Sarah and I to step back as Diana began to speak. Her voice booming through the air. The cheers around us became silent. Friends, we have won this battle, but they will not be gone for long. This is the beginning of a war to end tyranny, to end chaos. I, no, 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 no. It's no. to bring chaos. It's, you mean to, like, have, like, the chaos you want, though? Yeah. Still chaos, but your chaos. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah. Th this is demons. <laughs> They're the chaotic ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Devils are the lawful ones. It's true, the devils are the lawful ones. Uh, I could tell that every demon in the area just had their ears and hearts open to Diana. I felt myself become full of courage just from listening to her speak. You have shown great courage today, but you must build even more for the war ahead. The demon lord will try to cut you down, but we will prevail. As I am the last living heir to this grand kingdom, I swear unto you all that I will fight until the very end and free this world of the evil that is the Demon Lord. With this, I urge you to stand with me and fight by my side, not as my subjects, but as my brothers and sisters. I ask now, who will stand with me? I mean, all the ones that are scared uh, of us. I'm, I'm you actually are. out. Yeah, uh, I got a bunch, a bunch of them just like, all right, I was only working for that guy. This. Because he kidnapped me when I was two. All right, bye. <laughs> came after was a loud and eardrum piercing. The sound of a thousand cheers beat through the air and slowed the allegiance of every showed the allegiance of every demon in the area, and then some. A damn. I could only stare in awe as Diana took in everyone's cheers and took in a heavy breath. It was then that I knew that I had become part of something grand at the side of a woman who would change history. Fictional history, but history nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. The days, the following days were full of chaos. The demon lord tried to come back and reclaim his pride, but Diana somehow managed to press back with ease, giving him more wounds than inflicted before. It was like the castle became an impregnable fortress. Soon, word spread that the neighboring kingdoms of the demon lord's defeat and continued failed attempts to attack. Many leaders sent messages of allegiance, which Diana humbly accepted, and soon enough we drove the demon lord's armies far back away from us. For every battle, she would wind up in my arms, much to the slightly slightly obvious disapproval of Sierra. Whenever a demon questioned my presence, Diana would simply wave them off with a small token of praise towards me. She is my most honored guest, and she is here to help us win this war. So, I think, wasn't there like some kind of superpower or something her character had in like the, the first one of these? There was like some kind of fucking thing about the character? It was like kind of obvious that like the yeah. the dudes were after, and that's the reason they were like really into you. I guess. I, I think I, I remember know. that. Unless I'm like, unless I'm just like fucking reading into the text because it's like kind of smelling like that. Like so you're not just like a human. You have something else. Because she's like she's able to like drain you and not like you don't doesn't change anything. Yeah. So that's what that's what's kind of weird. That I don't know. But that brought that does follow logically anyway. Hang on. We're almost done. <laughs> uh, still, the thought of what we officially were began to ma make me concerned. So are we, like, dating? Or, <laughs> or like, what are we? Are we, like, dating? Are we, are, are, are we like, am I just living here? Or, like, I mean, I paid the gas bill. Like, I mean, am I, am I supposed to, like, I don't know. If you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Did Diana see more than an energy source and an ally? We had kissed before we... What if we kissed underneath the demon? <laughs> what if we kissed... warfare... What if, what if we kissed... Slams? <laughs> Unless... Unless... We kissed <laughs> it's, it's, at the defeat of the demon lord. <laughs> Under the carcass of Beelzebul. Be Beelzebul. <laughs> I couldn't have been more unsure. I began to question myself. Why was I here? What's life all about? Is God really real? <laughs> or is there some doubt? 
could only shake my head in response. I shouldn't doubt anything. We were in the midst of a war, and with Diana at the front, she had so many responsibilities, many that I could never even hope to think of. The pinnacle moment from our relationship, however, came when a brute demon stormed into the castle all on his own. He was unarmed and carrying a single item, which made many demons step away from him in, in fright. That... All right. You probably stop. I think because like, like I think the weird. introduction of this thing should be the stopping point. I mean, this is like pretty good. I think it's like I, I'm seriously like I would actually fucking read all this. Cause I kind of want to know what the fuck. Yeah. But also, fine. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah. really have to. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't open that many. Okay. I am certain. Yeah, so uh, Seduce Me 2, definitely. Seduce Me 2. Surprisingly a win. Surprisingly better than Seduce Me 1, and also surprisingly fixed a lot of things I had problems with in Seduce Me 1, where we, like, had a really good story, and the person's clearly a good writer, but then they, like, forced in this, like, really cringy uh, reverse harem that I wasn't really into. Yeah. This is great. I mean, like, the, like the, the character, you're already with the character, and you're, like, clearly dating this person, but you're just kind of, like, wondering where your place is. And that's more interesting. It's not the same shit you always get. Where it's always yeah. like, oh yeah, the fucking... This just guy's say all archetype. the right things. These are all archetypes. Uh, just like mash the buttons that they like. Oh, you like fucking photography? You then like this person's gonna cream. like want to suck your dick. You don't like photography? This person's gonna try to kill the person that, does, that wants to suck your dick. Or something weird. Yeah. Always dumb shit. That's great. I, I mean, that was exciting. It was like well written. It had like decent voice acting, and then like had like good backgrounds except for the poop stains. And, and like uh, character models were, were were pretty good. They're all right, better than I could something yeah. I could draw. So like, what yeah. if we chose the one that's strong, and the rest of these are just I like don't need massive to find out. shits? Let's just leave this on a high note and say it's pretty good based on the one we picked. The other ones could just be dog shit, and I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs>